Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Both. Both? The whole point of the game is to choose. But they're both such attractive options. Yeah, you got me there. Okay. How about... Well, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Thanks, jerk. Hey. That's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland, thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Girlfriend? So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? Keep up the pace, you two. What's in the bag, Dee? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think? Or you don't know. Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Deep. But you are the one who made me anything, stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn rain, in this hey, goddamn middle of nowhere place. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To I can't believe you are still religious after My what we've been through. So. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling? D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. 
Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. It's always later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on, we gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Moving. We gotta be closing in. Shit. Where are you? Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, Mama, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Why? Do, do, do I love you? How bad is it? Bonnie? Why didn't you say anything? You, you should have said something. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. <laughs> Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland, she, she did this to me. You're gonna be fine, Dee. You're gonna be fine. Mm, liar. You did this for him. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. Thank you. Help the stones. God damn you. Dee, I would never... I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Spread out. It can't be far. 
D. D, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? D. God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. Had to. I, I thought you what? would. What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said, Bonnie? God damn it! Tell me what happened. It really was an accident, Leyland. It, it really. You did this? You did this to my D? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? Jeff, you see something? I this just way. don't. Come on! Bonnie, why? There weren't nothing I could have done. It was dark and she... She came out of nowhere, Leland. Jesus. I, I believe you, but... God. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Going... Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. Die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. 
You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know? It was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept... This is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. 
Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It's okay to be here. Jeez. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? <laughs> At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You have a point. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do give you him have? some food. When? Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again. Or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. 
It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. No one's watering these. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Is really necessary. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? 
What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe. Don't be honest. Shelly, mom! What the fuck? God damn it! You were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. <laughs> hey! Don't you bit! <gasps> Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. 
People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Did you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I'm, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? You don't. 